Hi Alex, here is one more very quick video discussing how we uh, close the area behind the draw front. So the original sketch shows just one material thickness between the draw fronts and the sort of masks around the cabinet here. I'm showing you a video because you'll get more of an impression of what that's going to look like if I move it around. I don't think I'm in a Yes, I'm in a perspective view. So let's look at another way of dealing with that boundary. Let's go to C2. This is completely flush fronted, so that surface and that surface are at the same level. I think stepping the bottom back is always going to look better. It gives you a little bit of a shadow gap and um, you know areas where dust and stuff are going to gather are sort of concealed more. It's easier to clean as well. Um, it's just these three panels. One, two, three. Um, I can probably supply Cornell with parts to do all three treatments but it would be good to know in advance. Um, so that's completely flush treatment there. I'm not going to try and go flush with this. This whole area will be 10 millimeters behind the front of the vanity unit. Let's look at one more treatment. Uh, the masks or these blanking pieces are set back about, well they could be almost anything, but I've set these back about 50 mil. So the carcasses or the draw fronts are really going to sort of pop out there. Um, they're all valid solutions, it's just a case of sort of which you'd prefer. Can probably probably decide on install day, but nice to know in advance if you can. Okay, thank you.